Hi, my name is Justin Blackburn, and I am a life coach. Not this shit. I know, I know. What does that even mean? Life coach. To me, it means we are all connected to a deeper source of life. Some call it God, Jesus, Krishna, Trump. But as we go through this hate-filled, brainwashing, fear world, it's easy to lose touch with that. As a life coach, I help reconnect you to your source. Um... How brilliant you are, how beautiful you are, how creative you are, before you were told you aren't. You like yourself? That's not cool. You're right. I'm a bad person. You are. But to some life coaches, it means... Everything I say is right. And if you don't think like me, you're unevolved. This becomes a problem when white life coaches speak for people of color to their white audience. In the spiritual community, I've called out people for racism before. But recently, this one woman... You may know her as Becky. Hell yeah! Is Becky about to confront the bigoted brainwashing patriarchy? <sighs> nope. I am just so tired of all the lames out there saying white privilege this and white privilege that. You're keeping white privilege going by saying white privilege, duh. When you can say stop saying white privilege, that's white privilege. People of color can't do that. White what? I don't have that. I don't even know what that is. I just think you're below me based on the color of your skin and I'm always gonna see you that way because my four daddies started this damn country. Seriously, if you believe in white privilege, you're in victim consciousness, cause we're all one. I wonder if a cop was trained to shoot Becky, if Becky and the gun would be one then. Oh my God, this is the hardest thing I've ever had to do. This is so hard. This so it's so hard, hard for you to get on Facebook at your home with the doors locked behind a camera phone with no one around you but your dog Hercules who loves you even though you're a racist but a person of color who gets pulled over in the middle of the night for no reason other than being a person of color by a psycho with a gun who is pretty damn cool with murdering them That's the difference between most white anxiety and black anxiety. Hey, come on in. Oh shit, Jenny's here. We went on that Tinder date then she never called me back. Oh my god, this is gonna be so awkward. I need to go take my medicine. And I know what I'm talking about, cause I used to march with Black Lives Matter. You can march with Black Lives Matter and still be a racist. Just like you can be a life coach, still be a fucking shithead. You should totally not be an SJW, because I used to be an SJW, but then I read Abraham Hicks once, and it's like, receive and ye shall ask, you know? Well, Becky, you don't have to be a social justice warrior, because your life automatically matters. Now, maybe I wouldn't have made this video if it was just Becky's ignorant ass talking shit. Maybe I would have seen a video of... Stephen A. Smith talking about how LeBron will never reach Jordan and thought, hmm. Somebody's saying something that actually matters. But the inspiration slapped me in the fucking face when I noticed a bunch of Lisa's cheering Becky? her on. Tell those POCs what's up! Becky stuck forever at Forever 21 sipping mocha tempeh lattes using slang terms inappropriately. But Lisa... Lisa is the tofu friend who believes everything Becky says because she doesn't know how to use her own mind yet. Lisa can still be reached. Lisa, this video is for Lisa, you. Lisa, I know you want to be part of the popular crowd. And I guess your head's been too far stuck up Becky's ass to know. Becky's a fucking loser. Nobody thinks she's cool. But you know what is cool, Lisa? Understanding, like understanding how this country was founded on white supremacy. Understanding that that shit is still 
poisoning our country's water. Understanding that we need to do everything we can to clean it. Even if it means telling Becky to shut the fuck up, then educating her. You know what else is cool? Staying in your own goddamn lane. Becky has never spent a second as a person of color. I don't give a fuck what she says. Past lives don't count. No matter what Becky thinks, it's not her job to comment on what anyone else is going through. It's her job to inspire people and not be an invalidating asshole. So Becky needs to get a new fucking job. And Lisa, you know what the coolest thing of all is? Opening up your own heart, finding your own purpose, and using it to create a positive impact for everyone in our world, not just Becky.